I'm very, very excited and very pleased to announce that I am donating these steamer trunks full of George Carlin stuff, which, as you know, technically, if you know the stuff routine, they're actually my dad's shit. <laughs> I am donating the archives of my father's stuff to the National Comedy Center, which is a organization that is based in Jamestown, New York, the hometown of Lucille Ball. And they are going to be opening a National Comedy Center and a museum in the fall of 2017. But I want to show his creative process and how it went from handwritten note on random piece of paper into a pile of notes with the same topic. So I have these Ziploc bags that are I have topics in them, uh, kids, death, words, politics, sports. Um, and then, uh, you know, like 20 to 50 little handwritten notes in it of just ideas, thoughts. Uh, maybe a clipping that he that he pulled out and then what he would do is he would take these things put them in a folder and start working on uh, You know creating an essay type piece. I mean, that's really what he did I felt the last I don't know 10 20 years of his life with these bigger longer pieces on his HBO shows and um, And then he would expand them into into a piece that would ultimately get on stage. And then I have a bunch of steamer trunks, like eight to 10 steamer trunks that my dad had pretty organized for me. Uh, my dad was a little OCD and he loved lists and he loved keeping things. And so we have photographs, we have all of his material material on multiple media. I mean, everything from vinyl, cassettes, eight track, a laser disc of something, you know, weird media. Uh, lots of clippings from each decade, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and the aughts. Um, fan letters from the 70s. Uh, handwritten lists and notes of like every late night show we ever did. Who was the host? Uh, what bit he did? And sometimes his set list attached to it. So it was just a lot of, a lot of stuff.